I would have to say on an excavator, probably the most neglected item would be the final drives, the, the gear oil that is in the final drive. There's a planetary in there, and, and a lot of times people don't even know there's oil in there. Maybe they just don't care. But it's very important to change the oil on those final drives. If you've never changed the oil or you can't remember last time you even checked the oil in your final drive, I would say go ahead and make it a point this weekend to go out and, and do an oil change on the final drives. Um, you know, Bobcat has their ADW90 gear oil. This is their premium heavy duty commercial transmission gear lubricant. Whatever, buy any gear oil you want, really. An ADW90, um, if this were my machine, I would probably go full synthetic, like an AMS oil or something like that. I would have to say that a very high percentage of drive motor failures on these excavators is due to a lack of maintenance. Whether it's not changing the gear oil in the planetary or like on the older machines, you know, the 331s, 337s, 341s, um, not changing the case drain filter. Um, so you could have a damage on the actual motor side, not the planetary side. So um, to do these drive motors, I would say probably the number one tool is this. This is like a little impact screwdriver. So we can turn it either left or right to go on or off. And what we do is we strike this with our hammer and we're hammering the bit into uh, that plug on the drive motor because these things i don't know why they're, they're there's a torque spec on them that's, that's relatively low but they are so hard to get off and i see them all the time that are stripped out or people just try to use you know their their allen head socket just on a socket wrench and and they just strip them out with this impact driver you're you're hitting in and loosening at the same time and, and this is the number one tool for drive motors i'm going to leave a link in the description where to get this and uh yeah, go ahead and get one if you're going to do any drive motors. It's it's a lifesaver, not only drive motors, but many other uses for these little impact screwdrivers. So we can see on this drive motor, we've got a drain plug, a level plug, and a fill plug. I always like to start by taking out the fill plug. See, I'm going to turn this in a loosening position. I'm going to actually be twisting with my hand at the same time. The reason I take this out is because there's usually pressure inside of here. We want to take this top plug off to kind of relieve some of that pressure. Because if we pull this drain plug off and it's pressurized, yeah. I've had an oil bath before, let's just say. So what I'm looking for, when I look in this hole, I can see one of the gears for the planetary right here blocking my fill hole. And that's okay, because when I look down here at my level plug, there's not a gear right there. What happens is that planetary rotates inside of here, and it may or, not, may or may not be in your way. So when you go to fill it with oil, it makes it difficult to get that thick gear oil in the hole when that gear is blocking the hole. So since there's not a gear here, I'm actually going to feel in the level plug. And that's just a quick tip. If, if you got a gear blocking both holes, when you get done draining it, just put the drain plug in and just drive it one way or other a little bit. And um, that'll, that'll free up or get that gear out of the way so it's easier to get the oil in. So on this machine, this is the initial 50 hour service. What I'm doing is kind of a break in oil change on the drive motors. And then Bobcat recommends doing these drive motors every thousand hours. I don't necessarily like that. Um, it'd probably be fine, but are you actually checking your oil in between that thousand hour maintenance service? Most people are not going to check their oil. Let's just say you had a leak and you didn't notice it because you're out in the mud um, and dirt and you, and, and you just, it, the drive motor's wet. You don't notice that it leaked out your gear oil. And then you run another 500 hours, you've done destroyed your planetary. Um, I like to service, if, it, if this were my machine, I would service these at every 500 hours. Um, not just check my oil at 500 hours. I feel like if you're going to pull a plug, 
just do a drain and refill. It's cheap and quick and easy as this is. Uh, some might call it overkill. I call it protecting your investment. And that's really all there is to changing the oil in your drive motors. It's it's so easy and but such a critical uh, maintenance procedure that needs to be done. So I'm going to finish getting this filled up and these plugs put in and torque to spec and go over to the other side and get that one knocked out. So um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Visit us at www.4tetridegroup.com. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.